Guys, I'm losing my shit right now. For those of you that don't know, I follow DuckTales, right? It's fun, smartly written, most of the time, and I love its fresh contemporary takes of iconic Disney characters whose full potential was never realized. And as of the day I'm recording this, they just introduced Daisy into the cast. And I kid you not, this is the best incarnation of Daisy Duck in the entire Disney franchise. So let me be straight with you. The Daisy and Donald couple, at least the versions I grew up with as a child, were, to make no bones about it, kinda shitty. Like, on paper, they look cute together because, you know, they're Disney mascots and heteronormativity and all that jazz. But when you really take the time to dissect the pairing, you'll realize that they don't exactly exemplify the hallmark of a healthy, loving relationship like Mickey and Minnie. For one, Donald was not exactly a prime cut of a good guy. He lies, acts like a coward, makes no attempts to curb his anger issues, and frankly, he could be kind of an asshole. Yeah, it's kind of offset by the world constantly giving him shit, but when you kind of suck as a person to begin with, it really drops your overall appeal as a romantic partner. Then there's Daisy. What I'm about to say might be kind of ironic considering that she was my low-key favorite character of the OG gang as a kid, but even I have to reluctantly admit that Daisy was, both in previous and in current incarnations, a grade A bitch. Yeah, her overt girliness and being an unflappable airhead were charming to a point, but beyond that, Daisy has proven time and time again that she's not really a good friend, and is a terrible girlfriend at that. She constantly puts Donald down, berates him for things that are beyond his control, is hardly supportive during his legitimate grievances, and just doesn't give as much to the relationship as she takes. If Mickey and Minnie are America's most lovable couple, then Donald and Daisy are that terrible couple from those nuclear family sitcoms. You know, the ones where a beautiful woman is inexplicably married to a man-child who's much duller, ruder, and is ostensibly out of her league, and the lady herself is portrayed as a nagging, inconsolable housewife who's completely blind to her husband's major faults. But you know, he's a good guy underneath. And that's pretty much the staple of Donald and Daisy's relationship. It's founded on a shitload of turbulence, and even the new Mickey Mouse shorts, while delightful in their own right, play this off as a good thing and should just be accepted. And don't get me started on the Three Caballero series, I say that having not watched a single episode of it. In short, their relationship has always been shallow to me because we've never really gotten a good look at why they love each other and why we should support them. They're just together because they just are. Then DuckTales happened. Already, this is way different than what we've seen before because in this version of the couple, Donald and Daisy haven't even met yet. And this is honestly the best route to take the pair because we as viewers get to see how their love story unveils for the first time, and we can experience exactly what forms the basis of their relationship. And by god did this episode deliver. When our two ducks have their first meeting, the very first thing that they do is treat each other respectfully as people. Donald holds the elevator open for Daisy, and acknowledges her personal space, even when he's trying to steal from her for plot reasons, but still. And Daisy... Well, she's not going out of her way for him, but she's generally decent considering he's still a stranger at this point. But then all hell breaks loose and we get to the real meat of the episode. Donald and Daisy get stuck in an elevator, and as we all know, that's a standard narrative device for airing out your feelings. Daisy laments how no one listens and values what she has to say as she strives to become a designer, and Donald shares in this sentiment because no one ever listens to him or understands him, both figuratively and literally. And already, the first love flag has been raised because Daisy and Donald now have a reason to really empathize with each other. They understand each other's difficulties and want to see each other be the best versions of themselves. And if that wasn't good enough already, we get to the part that nearly had me sent into a cuteness-induced coma. Donald says no one can understand him because of his speech impediment, and bada bing bada boom, Daisy can understand him perfectly. For the record, I've always been pretty miffed at how the series keeps trying to find ways to keep Donald from talking, because it just feels kind of disrespectful to a core part of the character's legacy. Donald's raspy voice is one of his biggest insecurities, and if this beautiful woman of a duck can see past that, and by some miracle actually likes that aspect about him, I'd probably propose to her right on the spot. So then Donald sings, and I'm telling you, this whole moment was a stroke of genius. Donald starts a ballad in his iconic quacky voice, but we slowly shift to Daisy's perspective and he sounds like a demigod. In addition to this sequence being lusciously animated full of strong character acting and fittingly quiet visuals, it serves to build a crucial part of Daisy's character. 
Yeah, it's funny hearing that voice come out of Donald's mouth, but that's just the effect that we as viewers are supposed to feel. For Daisy, she hears Donald's real voice, but to her, that amazing performance we hear from the stand-in singer is how she perceives it. The girl doesn't see Donald's speech impediment as something to overlook. She straight up loves it, and I can barely talk right now because my heart is still melting. Anyway, more plot happens, and Daisy's employer is about to give her the heave-ho. But Donald just tells her outright to fuck off. And if the scene in the elevator served to show what Daisy can provide in a relationship with Donald, then this moment right here shows how Donald can reciprocate. Not only does he respect Daisy as a person, he's fully supportive of her goals and ambitions when others would not. Boy, he really chugged down that respect women juice, didn't he? So, all's well that ends well, Donald gets to perform with the three caballeros, and everybody thinks he sucks. Except Daisy, who could probably pop an ovary hearing his voice all day. But for real, this is exactly what this relationship needed. Equal reciprocity. Our guy here is not some underdog trying to maintain a relationship with a girl out of his league. No siree, DuckTales has these two on an even playing field. Donald's fondness for Daisy carries the same emotional weight as Daisy's fondness for him. She has just as many faults as Donald, like the latter's rage and temper, but even that has a secondary purpose of being something Donald can relate to and work together with her to improve. There's no power imbalance here, folks. Just two ducks who can give as much to the relationship as they receive. So there you have it, guys. The Donzi ship has sailed, and I've already got a ticket to board. I'm really looking forward to see more of Daisy in future episodes, especially how she handles the rest of Donald's family. I never thought I'd be losing my shit over a couple that's been a staple since the 1940s, but you know what? I'm weak like that, and I don't care. Why? Because I can take solace in the fact that all of you watching this video are just as shameless as me. I like making YouTube videos, thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, comment, subscribe. I did not script this. I'm so embarrassed, DuckTales, woohoo.